Yes. How are you, dear pupil? I hope you are all right. Uh, this is Mr. Richard, ready to take you through English grade six. And uh, as is usual in my lessons, I usually like starting with uh, a puzzle. And this is how it goes. What is the beginning of end and the end of time and space? Please answer that question. Think about it. Then at the end of the lesson, I'm going to give you the answer. What is the beginning of end and the end of time and space? Today, during our lesson, we're going to look at verbs which are under parts of speech and under verbs, we're going to look at forms of a verb. In the previous lessons in class, we have started looking at the parts of speech and of course, you can tell me which these parts of speech are. There are eight. We have conjunctions, we have prepositions, we have interjections, we have adjectives. Which others do we have? We have verbs, we have nouns, and we have uh, pronouns. These are the parts of speech that we've looked at in class. Today, I want us to look at verbs and forms of a verb. What is a verb? What is a verb? Simply speaking, a verb is a doing word. It shows action. Doing is action. And uh, previously in class, we said that part of speech in language, especially in English language, because that's what you're looking at, parts of speech are the backbone, the backbone of language. Each and every word in the language falls under a certain part of speech according to its usage in a sentence, according to its usage. It's very important to note that, according to the usage of that word in a sentence. So we said a verb is a word that shows action. A verb shows action. Can you give me examples of verbs? We have eat is an action, and I believe maybe some two or three minutes before we started this, maybe you're eating something, you're munching on something. We have the word drink. We have the word sleep. These are actions. So if someone tells you to do the action of eating, it's going to be easy to show that action. You eat using your mouth and teeth. You drink, it's an action. To sleep is an action. In fact, there are many, many verbs that you can mention. And of course, because of time and space, and because it is not the mandate of this lesson to look at all the verbs, because it is practically impossible to do that, then I leave it at these three. So we have a verb is a doing, a doing one. Now, when you want to learn what you call tenses, or time of an action, because I've been said a verb is a doing word. When you want to show time of a, of, of a certain action, then we talk of tense. We have, I believe by now you know, we have present tense, we have past tense, we have future tense. We have, that is present time, we have past time, and we have future time. Present tense means present time. Past tense means past time, and future tense means future time. These are the tenses you're talking about. So if you want to know how to do this, that's when now we look at the forms of a verb. How many forms of a verb are there? How many forms of a verb are there? There are four forms of a verb. There are four forms of a verb, and uh, I'm going to be very fast. Because this is the uh, first lesson uh, in this, so it's not going to be an introductory part. So we have four forms of verb. One of them is the present participle. The other one we have the infinitive form of the verb. Infinitive. Then we have past form and we have the past participle form. So you, I'll give you, uh, we'll look at one, one verb that we've looked at, 
one of those verbs that we listed here, one of the three, you look at the word eat. The word eat is in the present. Infinitive form is the present form of the verb. The present form of the verb. The now, the now form of the verb. So the word eat is in the now form. Past means something that happened. So the past form, the past form of it is eight. And when you look at this word eight, basically, it's just an interchanging or, uh, of the letters of the word that were in the infinitive. That is just an observation. And uh, past participle form of it is eaten. And the present participle form of it is eating. Let us have another verb from those that we listed earlier. We have the word sleep. It's in the present form. Past form of sleep is slept. The past participle form of sleep, of sleep is slept. And the present participle form of sleep is sleeping. I know by now you, you see a certain trend. When you look at the present participle, all present participles end in ing. ing. We are going to see why. Okay? Then we have the present form, the past form, the past participle form, and the present participle form. Now, um, what are the functions of this? The infinitive form forms the present simple tense, the present simple time. Let, uh, in, another, in another lesson, we are going to look at um, the functions or examples, deeper examples of these different tenses. So the present simple form. The past form of a verb is used to form the simple past or the, the past simple form. The past simple tense. The past participle form of a verb is used to form the perfect tenses. It is used to form what you call the perfect tenses. This one should not scare you. It should not scare you because we're going to go into detail uh, into this later on. So the perfect tenses. How many perfect tenses are there? We have what you call the present perfect. Present perfect tense. We have what you call the past perfect tense. We have what you call the future perfect tense. 